They removed classical seven liberal arts from our education. The word liberal in and of itself, Alex, comes from the Latin liber, which means book. And in ancient Roman times, the slaves were not allowed to study the seven liberal arts of the... Uh, yeah, the liberal uh, 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 means learned or books. Right, and well, exactly. And, and so the, the people, once they were... Once you became freed from slavery under Roman in Roman times, the first thing you did was undertook a, tr a study of the trivium and quadrivium. Okay, so this is why book or liber and liberty are synonymous. Freedom means book. Okay, so people have to understand that their freedom is in the books. It's in the trivium and the quadrivium. Again, the trivium is grammar, logic, and rhetoric, always in that order. That, and if they, if you're given it if it's given to you out of order, if logic is put first, for instance, that in and of itself is a system of mind control. And that's why we see people who will seriously, uh, you, know, you say, I don't want government-run health care, uh, and they say, you don't like black people, and for us... Well, that's that's what they're doing, is that's a red herring right there. They, they're they diver diverting the subject No, I know, but for those of us that, that can you know, have basic common sense and, and a historical understanding, we see it as an asinine, uh, actual form of racism, creating division, but we don't understand. They're hitting an audience that is so confused that they just believe the symbol of the spoken word makes it so, and so they're primed to accept lies and have no discrimination to be able to uh, calculate uh, information. I would agree with that, but let's put aside what would what we would generally consider a common idea of of. Uh of critical thinking, okay, because see, to the elites, unless you have studied the trivium and quadrivium and you understand and can identify logical fallacies, both formal and form informal, they don't consider that you have any system of critical thinking. In fact, those who don't have the trivium are very easily mind controlled. So what we've been doing is we've been putting this information out to people to empower them. Classical education, you know, going back to the Greeks, the Romans, common sense what made western civilization great that's not taught now it's all about being a ninny being obsessed with your quote sexual or racial identity fighting with everyone around you knowing all the mindless trivia of the different ball games and and uh you know the latest trial on television but not understanding how human cultures operate not understanding history not understanding i mean they've convinced the the, the planet to a great extent that powerful people don't meet in secret and don't have agendas and aren't dangerous. Total common sense for all of civilization. Uh, they have taught people how to instinctively now engage in their own fallacies, their own delusions. It's creating a delusional society. I just put it uh, in, in, in layman's terms, of course, decades ago I did, you know, read over some of the classical, uh, uh literature and, uh, thought processes, but it's all there self-evident. But what's good about what, uh, Jan's doing is he's technically bringing it back and, and showing people, uh, how it's being used against him now. So this is a long segment, uh, Jan. I want to give you the floor now as if you're talking to a completely new audience, and I, I would imagine 90% of my audience on you know all these AM and FM stations have never heard of you and, and they're intelligent folks they know they're being lied to and manipulated they know their neighbors uh, just seem like they're complete idiots I mean they can sell insurance they can be doctors they can be lawyers but still they will giggle and laugh at common sense because they believe common sense is being a chump not having uh, a large lexicon the system is limiting words now destroying words changing well, their that's meaning a, that's a that's the systematic method of dumbing us down. I know you interviewed uh, Charlotte Iserbeet last year. Uh, she wrote the book, uh, The Dumbing Down of America. Uh, you know, this is the, the key stuff that they're using. They want people to sit there and instead of writing laughing out loud, they go LOL, right? You know, or all of these other uh, abbreviations that people are using in text and everything else that is literally dumbing us down. It's like animal and, calls. And, so, so, right, so, so, so listen, I'm going to give you the floor, but, but, but okay. uh, explain the basics of it for a start over, go through it, uh, break down what television, all of it's doing to us. 
Well, television in and of itself, without a systematic method of seeing through the lies coming out to you, it's, a, it is, it's television programming, and that programming is programming you. It's not programming a, a machine. The machine is just a receiver, but the program is to program you. You're the one that can, in, that can take a program just like a computer can. But uh, what I want to do real quick is explain to people a little bit more clearly exactly what the trivium is. Okay, so I already said that the, the trivium is grammar, logic, and rhetoric. But the, triv the trivium or grammar, the grammar aspect of the trivium answers the question of who, what, where, and when of a subject. Diverting and ordering facts of reality compri uh, com comprises basic systematic knowledge. And not only the rules and development applied to the ordering of word con concepts for, for verbal expression and communication, but for our first contact with conscious order as such. And then logic answers the why of a subject, developing the faculty of reason in establishing valid, i.e. non-contradictory relationships among facts yields basic systematic understanding. So again, uh, grammar was knowledge, logic is understanding, and then rhetoric provides the how of a subject. And it applies knowledge and understanding expressively and, comp uh, and comp uh, so if we take any of these things out of order, the entire system collapses. And this is what the elites use on the masses to control them. Uh, so, you know, even Albert Pike in Morals and Dogma in, on page, uh, I think it's uh, 866 or 869, uh, 861, excuse me, proclaims that the royal secret of the sublime prince is found in the understanding of the Pythagorean 5, 3, 4, right angle, triangle. The 5 represents the 5 senses. The 3 represents the trivium, grammar, logic, and rhetoric. And the 4 represents the quadrivium, which is math, geometry, music, and astronomy. And I should state that the quadrivium always has to be in that order. Math is number in itself. Geometry is number in space. Music or harmony is number in time, and astron astronomy is number in space and time. And in my own instance, when I was in junior high school, uh, they took uh, the the uh, geometry and they taught me algebra before geometry, which takes it out of order. You have to learn math, geometry, then uh, go on to algebra and, and uh, these you know, calculus, these other forms of mathematics. So they intentionally dumb us down and confuse us by taking these ancient systems out of order. The trivium and quadrivium, see the ancients figured out over 2,000 years ago, 2,500 years ago, exactly how the human mind works and processes information. The elitists have kept this information to themselves and that's how they control the masses. By them understanding who, what, where, and when, and understanding the logical fallacies, and what they'll do is they'll use, you know, appeal to belief. Uh, they'll use circular, circular logic, appeal to fear, you know, and to, just to jab at you a little bit, Alex. I know a lot of uh, times you get criticized for using too much appeal to fear in your show. So by by understanding how these appeal to fallacies are used and manipulated against us, we can take those out of our own thinking and then deliver a a co coherent directed uh, bit of information towards our audience that is going to empower them and enlighten them and give them the tools necessary uh, so that we can stop this insane madness that's going on in the world around us, this new world order. And folks, the new world order is very real. The perceptibilis or the Illuminati is real. And, uh, the, I, you know, in my personal opinion, I very strongly believe that the re religions themselves are also a part of the new world order. And the religions themselves get uh, control people by their fear of sins in an afterlife rather than having to use direct physical force Just against watching you know. what the social engineers are doing it, 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 it's clear now that they're trying to overly lie and and, and basically just train us to accept total la la land and that there's a real attempt right now to more than ever blur uh, reality uh, you know from fiction uh, a, do you agree with that statement? And B, what is the method to the social engineer's madness? 
You're asking me? Yeah, I mean, I'm asking. I mean, I'm, I'm asking. Do you agree that they're really turning up the heat right now? Oh yeah. Well, see, right now they're in a panic because people are waking up and they're figuring out how the whole system works. So they're trying to put as much pressure on us as possible. They're trying to keep, oh, you know, all the the rats inside the Skinner box, and all of the rats are starting to break loose and going. You know, forget this whole Skinner box thing. I don't want to be in the Skinner box. I don't want to be your your little uh, rat for your mind control. Instead of a liberal edge they're giving what people today is a servile or a servitude education to get people to be good factory workers good soldiers not think critically not question what you're told just follow along be spoon-fed the information that you're fed by the uh, mainstream media and by the way you're not just your saying head. that we have the department of education documents and others we have the, the stuff from germany going back over 100 years ago where they said they would do this it's called kindergarten folks not critical thinking but regurgitating we'll be right back Jan. Uh, let me, let's say you had three minutes on national television to talk to the sheep. What would you say? You know, you're in a false reality. You've been programmed. The words you're using aren't real. Break out of your trance. I mean, I found that because they don't have the rhetoric, they don't have the basic classical education, they don't have any of this stuff, that, 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 that it, it's like telling somebody to swim who's never even been in the, in, 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 in the baby pool. I just say, hey, you better look around you. Eventually, people have to take the first step and hold the rail and step into the baby pool, right? And uh, that's the first step to learning how to swim. You know, you have to you have to get wet, and uh, so people have to pick up the books. They have to start learning this stuff, or we're all going to continue to be slaves. The broken trivium equals mind control. The fixed trivium equals liberation. So it's really up to, you know, the audience out there to uh, to break free of these systems of mind control and figure out how they work and to get educated. It's very important that we fix our education, that we study Charlotte Isabeet, John Taylor Gatto, and these people that are that are giving us the real tools about the education system and how it's been corrupted, as well as uh, Brett Vinat's School Sucks podcast out there. That is a, uh, a top-notch publication, and the, the, the education system in and of itself is the core foundation of the mind control with the trivium and quadrivium in that, and then everything stems from there. The political system, the, the PR, the marketing companies, uh, none of that stuff would work. You wouldn't have commercials, for, for, for that matter, Alex. Maybe this is against your own uh, self-interest. But if people had the trivium and quadrivium, you wouldn't have commercials the way they are right now with all of... You know, if you sit there and listen through an average 30-second commercial, most commercials will run the full gambit of logical fallacies in that short time. It's in corporate documents where it's admitted. I mean, they admit they're manipulating people, and they cold-bloodedly are doing it. So if you can just show folks that, I think at the end of the day, to get people thinking and really challenging their beliefs and becoming aware and not just kind of passively in a trance going through life, I think that's really the most important thing. But uh, talk about television a little bit. Talk about the rat mazes uh, that are then you know directly moved to the shopping centers. Well... Uh B.F. Skinner was the first one getting uh, rats and pigeons to respond to stimulus basically by starving them. And uh, so by by withholding about a third of these pigeons' food, they could uh, get the pigeons to react to different letters almost like they were reading and then peck on a box or open a door or something like that. And so That's why they destroy uh, economies whenever they're about to make big social exactly, changes that exactly. are unpopular. You're exactly right. So they're, the bird and the rat's food is our money, right? And that's exactly how they're doing this. Uh, Aldous Huxley said, a really, diff a really efficient totalis <laughs> excuse me, totalitarian state would be one in which the all-powerful executive of political bosses and their army of managers control a population of slaves who do not have to be coerced because they love their servitude. To make them love it is the task assigned in present-day totalitarian states to ministry of propaganda, newspaper editors, school teachers. The greatest triumphs of propaganda have been accomplished, not by doing something, but by refraining from doing. Truth is, wait, great is truth, but, but still greater from a practical from a practical point of view, is silence about truth. And so it's people not taking action, not 
getting up and finding out what these logical fallacies are, not learning. You know, as soon as you study, if you go on the TriviumEducation.com website and study the logical fallacies on there for 20 minutes and then go watch corporate media, you'll be able to start spotting those logical fallacies right away. It is immediate that you can begin applying.